Welcome to movie number eight with Mad Mapper 1.2. What I've got here in the scene or in the setup is a range of video files and sound files created with uh, Strata CX for the 3D video files, uh, soundtrack motion for the sound, and a lot of it, or some of it anyway, was just composited with Apple's uh, Motion, Motion 5. What I've got here is just to show you uh, a background JPEG. I'm just going to just open this up. And within this file, let's reduce it down a little bit here, is a backdrop that was just created with white core flute, just white material. It's about three foot high, just to use for a demonstration purposes of putting this file together. So I'll just close that for now, and I'm just going to open up the Mad Mapper file that uh, was used for this as well. So as I mentioned before, this is a Mad Mapper 1.2, and a big jump up from the previous version, particularly with the new presets, which are very, very cool. So the presets are just here. If I click on that, we can see just a range of presets. Now just watch the surfaces here. At the moment, there's simply two surfaces. This is aligned to the image that's brought in, although it does vary a little bit from the actual uh, video, um, which I'll show you in a bit, which was the actual projection. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. So if I just click through some of these presets here, you'll see this is just a solid um, one surface view. All surfaces, a whole lot of surfaces. Now, the beauty of this is when you're up in the screen set up here, you can turn basically your mirroring off so that you can get all of this information and still have the projector on full screen viewing what you need. So you can see in this particular shot how it's broken up. You also notice if I clicked on, let's say, the surface here, if I go through and have a look at uh, the surface 3 and bring it back to the quad here, it's just been locked off at the moment, but if I just unlock Surface 3 and just click on it like so, you can see that I've actually played around with the red, green and blue filters. So lots of things you can do. You can even do this live if you wanted to as well. There's also some uh, masking that's in this particular one at the same time. So I'll just lock this one back up. I'm going to go back to my files here and I can swap around to another file. This is quite a large file, it took a little bit to load, but um, it's essentially alpha channel background, that's why we can see all the layers, all the uh, clear through view here, and we can see the surfaces here. I think the best thing to do is really go through and just have a look at the live action of that. So I'm just going to go to uh, making sure I'm on the files, and I'm going to go to the space projection with the video file I'll show you in just in a minute as it will set up in a live view. So I'm just going to close that. I won't save this one and I'll go through and we'll just open up and have a look at the movie. Welcome to the green screen room in our studio. What we've got here is an example of the mocked up um, image with core flute or the stand and we're just going to turn the lights out and just have a look at this and see how it goes in live action. Okay so here's the computer with the input and the output screen matched up to the quads we want to work with. I'm just going to try this time a um, full movie view and we're going to see how that sounds with the particular file. Okay so we'll just click onto that and run through.
whatever you're playing through Mad Mapper, you can simply click on another preset to move on to the next scene or whatever is necessary within the work that you're putting together. Mad Mapper 1.2 is uh, great for this, and as you can see, we haven't used any other tool like Siphon or whatever at this stage. Okay, so enjoyed um, Mad Mapper.